So my name is Austin Davis, and I am a second year student at ASU studying creative writing. And right now I am at my home in Mesa. So I, I work for Arizona Jews for Justice, and we've uh, partnered with Lutheran Social Services of the Southwest and 100 Angels. And so starting last week, we started our project called Deliver Hope, where you know people can volunteer and come and uh, pick up food and essential materials from uh, the Lutheran Social Services office and then deliver those uh, essential items and food to refugee families who have lost their jobs. I really just want to use the, the privileges and abilities that I have to help those who are struggling right now. You know, because a lot of people have lost their jobs and aren't making any income. And, you know, right now in my position in life, I have the ability to do this, you know? So I feel like my biggest concern is trying to help those who are in need while also trying to stay safe myself because I don't want to put myself or my family in danger. So, you know, we're, we've put a lot of safety regulations on how we're doing this. We're not coming into contact with anyone, but we're also making sure that we still help those in need. Right now, uh, I've decided to work on a new collection of poetry. So I've been trying to make it a, a regular part of every day to write every night. So I take a couple hours every night to write. And I think it's just, you know, in, in times of great uncertainty, I think that art can really guide us and help us see that there's, you know, a brighter future on the horizon. So I think it's very valuable for all of the artists in our community to keep creating. My, most of my classes were already online. I had already become kind of acclimated to doing online classes, but um, the one biggest change has been my poetry class, and it's all online now over Zoom, which um, it's been really cool, actually. I, I think we've all, for some reason, our discussions have been kind of heightened by being online. I'm not really sure why, but it's been really great to have that because, you know, I for one have been feeling kind of lonely, you know, and kind of scared sometimes. So it's kind of nice once a week to have this community of artists who are all kind of feeling the same way and we can all kind of share our anxieties and our art and what we're going through, you know, and help each other that way for three hours a week. We're, we're all in this together and together we will prevail, you know, because we're, we're all experiencing this together. And if we can come together and help each other and do its best for the common good, we'll make it through. This is a poem I wrote about the coronavirus pandemic called, This Poem is for the Love. This poem is for the love. This poem is for the children whose schools have closed. The children who rely on whatever their pocket change can buy them in the cafeteria to get them through the day. This poem is for the people who live through a lifetime of war and are as afraid of going outside on this still spring night as they were back then. This poem is for every family from my city to your city to every city neither of us have ever been to or heard of. This poem is for the mother who lost her job and has to feed three kids. This poem is for the boy who searches for smiley faces in the raindrops sticking to his windows, even when the monsters in his head are trying to find their way to his eyes and he's alone and the world feels fast asleep. This poem is for the homeless, the scared, the lonely. This poem is for the dead, the dying, the hungry. This poem is for you. This poem is for me. If you press your hand to your heart, I'll press my hand to mine. We can both feel the rhythm of being alive, and that's all the reason I need to stay inside.